LGBT youth represent nearly 40% of all homeless youths in the United States. So here's the question. How do we address this very, very important problem? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trenum, and I'm joined by Allison Robinson. She's the Director and Vice President of LGBT Technology Institute. Allison, welcome to the program. Thank you, Robert. It's great to be here. Forty percent is a very high number. That's nearly half of LGBT youth are homeless. Why is that the case? Well, it's especially high when you consider that somewhere between three and five percent of people identify as LGBT. So LGBT youth are, are significantly overrepresented in the homeless population. It's largely uh, to do with the fact that our, uh, much of our culture is still catching up to uh, this level of inclusion that we aspire to. So uh, hypothetically, could it be that a young person comes out to their family members and their family members for whatever reason cannot accept that and kicks them out? Or is it something much more deeper than that from an economic standpoint? Well, it's, it's certainly not a hypothetical. In fact, that is the situation that thousands and thousands of LGBT young people face today. And they find themselves in the space of 24 hours uh, without a place to sleep, without food, without any means of support whatsoever. And so what's the solution? How do, we, how do we combat this? We know that what the problem is. How do we fix it? Well, there are a lot of different solutions that need to go into uh, to solving this problem wholly. Uh, what we're looking at is how uh, something as simple as a cell phone can change the experience of a young person on the street, can make their outcomes better and better and better. When you say cell phone, what do you mean by that? Uh, a mobile phone, uh, something that allows them to have... Uh, is that the connectivity, in term, uh, literally and figuratively, a lifeline, if you will? Precisely. It is a lifeline for these young people. Uh, it allows them uh, to connect to their friends and family. It allows them to connect to service providers <coughs> who can help them. Uh, and it allows them uh, to connect with potential employers who can help them uh, develop the resources they need to get off the street. So let's say, hypothetically, the, the young person does not have a cell phone are you able to, to provide them with one? Or ultimately is the goal to perhaps maybe find some type of housing for them? And, and that type of housing, is that temporary or is that hopefully permanent? Well, many of them don't. In fact, over half of them, our studies show, don't have a cell phone or don't have one that works. Our Connect for Life program uh, works to put uh, cell phones and minutes into the hands of these young people uh, so that they can access all of the benefits that come from being connected. And I think it's important, Allison, to stress to our viewers at home, it's a cell phone is not just a cell phone anymore, right? That's a miniature computer. So uh, perhaps maybe this person can communicate not just over the phone, but through email, through text messaging, maybe look up some information, perhaps maybe find a loved one that perhaps maybe they can move into it. So it's, it's, it literally is a lifeline. Oh, that's right. Imagine yourself, uh, if you found yourself without a home tomorrow, where would you find the information to find a place to sleep, a safe place to sleep, to find a meal, to figure out uh, how to get around, uh, what places were safe and what places were not, if you didn't have that connectivity? For the viewers at home that are watching this program now, how can they get involved? Can they donate to you? Can they donate a phone? How can they help? Well, they certainly can uh, by going to our website, uh, lgbttech.org. Uh, they can find more information about the program as well as links where they can support the work that we're doing. 20 seconds left, Allison. How did you get involved in this project? Look, I'm a parent. I have uh. teenage kids. Uh, it breaks my heart to imagine them in this situation. I want to make sure that all of these kids are as safe uh, and as, uh, as empowered as possible to make their lives better. You know, it's unimaginable to think that anyone uh, would take their child and say, you know what, you're not welcome here in our home. Uh, we're going to, to kick you out. And, and to, I don't understand how anyone can sleep at night uh, knowing that their child is literally not underneath their roof and, uh, and being homeless. Allison Robinson, Vice President and Director of LGB Technology Institute, thank you very much for joining us, and thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.